Evening, how are you tonight? Hello, Anna Cristina. Oh my god, Hello, where are you tonight? Where are you tonight? I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm having trouble with my webcam, it comes down. I don't know why it's falling down. I'm having trouble. Sorry, guys. I don't know what it's going on with this thing, but it doesn't stay in in the place. Yeah, you see? Boop, boop. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, you see? Again, again. And I was okay, and then whoops. <laughs> Uh, again okay something's happening i really don't know what it is but we are going to try as it is right now yep. nope again okay let's start now with our class because it's time already Okay, I think it's okay over there. No, it is not. Again, oops. Oof. Okay, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to change the angle. Okay, gonna move this thing. It okay there? Is it better? Well, I cannot be right in front of you guys, but I'm going to be like watching here and watching here, okay? Um, we're going to start tonight uh, taking the attendance, but first of all, what I'm going to do is to close all these things. Someone is having trouble with the audio thing, with the audio cable. It takes almost everybody in. Okay, meanwhile, the list is loading. I'm going to show the objective for the uh, for today's class, okay? So let me go here. Okay. Today is our 12th video conference and uh, 11th, I'm, I'm sorry, 11th, 11th. Today is our 11th video conference and we are going to study 
these two phrases. These two phrases. Could you something something? Would you mind something something? So the main topic will be requesting politely. Requesting politely. Another way we can say polite requests. Polite requests. That's our main topic for today. This is very interesting because today we are start starting our unit number three. Look at the topic for unit number three. Communication at the workplace. Communication at the workplace. ¿Cómo se llama la unidad tres? Communication at the workplace. Unit one was company identity. Number two, unit two is socializing. And unit three, communication at the workplace. Communication at the workplace. What are we going to learn here? What are we going to learn here? Okay, we are going to practice or learn some ways manners, phrases that makes us to be polite, okay? Makes us being polite. We want to be polite in our workplaces. We don't want to be rude, right? We don't want to seem rude um, before our associates or our colleagues, right? So this is unit three, communication at the workplace. The first topic of unit two then is how to request politely. We are going to learn these two phrases. Could you, would you mind? Okay. And this is our agenda. We're going to make a little feedback and we are going to, the, to solve the last exercise of unit two. Remember the business cards? Then we are going to do a little introduction of unit three and the objectives. Objectives, I'm sorry. We are practicing dialogues tonight. We have to identify between request and to request. Then I will have a little or a short time for a briefing explaining how to use could and would in these two phrases. After that, we are going to practice together in groups in the breakout rooms. And for the end, you are going to give your opinions and um, give examples as a summary for wrapping up the class. Then our station one-on-one -on -one for today is Karina's turn, okay? The turn is for Karina. Okay, people? Just let me take you. To the attendance list.
How are you doing, guys? How are you doing tonight? How was your weekend? Did you have fun in the weekend? Was it a good weekend? Very busy. Very busy. Uh, do you work on weekends? Sometimes in this week, I oh, okay. work. Sorry, I'm having trouble with this thing. <laughs> okay. Some weekends. Ah, yes, you told us that every other Sunday you work, right? Yes. Okay. For some reason, this is not loading. Okay, today is Monday, Monday the 19th of 2021. So we are going to start. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Not Alejandra there. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. One second. Oh God. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Um, Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Yo, uh, Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Okay. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Linda. Silvio Enrique Cortez Flores. Present teacher. Okay, here we are, guys. So I was saying that today 
we have um, the first class of unit three. So we finished unit two, but just let practice some questions and uh, asking for information with, um, I'm going to change the, the camera from here. I'm sorry, guys. To here, maybe it works tonight. I don't know if it, it's going to work. Yeah, it's better, I think, right? Yeah, there we are. So uh, I was saying to request politely, right? But today, tonight and our topic, but we are going to practice just as a manner of feedback. We are going to practice how to ask for information. Um, in this case, we are going to complete a business card. Okay, we are going to complete a business card and in the business card, what kind of information do we show? Uh, ¿Qué información ustedes incluyen en una, una tarjeta de presentación? What information is included in a business card? Name. Okay, email. Mm -hmm. Profession. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Telephone oh. numbers. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh -huh. Direction. Direction the of company. Okay. The company's address. Okay. Company's yes. address. Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. It's important to know how to ask these uh, for this information. Maybe you are introducing with someone and then you need to request this information, but what are the questions that we are going to use to do that? Okay, let's go and in our manuals, let me share that. We have an example or uh, yeah, an example of information that it is included in a business card. So now we are going to formulate the questions, how to ask for that information. This is a manner of feedback because we know how to ask in the present simple, okay? And we know about the information questions. But let me go there with the exercise. Okay, and the explanation are the instructions of this activity. It's in page 28. Okay, in your manuals, go to page 28. Okay. Then we have a question in activity number five. It says, what info should be pres uh, present in a business card? What info should be present in a business card? Okay, we are going to check in that little table the information that it is included and what information is not included or what elements we don't include in a business card. Okay, do we uh, present our photo, a personal photo? Do we do that? No, right? We don't. No, we don't. QR codes? Do you include QR codes in a business card? Mm, not really, okay? Maybe. Yeah, maybe when you are maybe giving- uh, Anything back? Yeah, location of the company, right? You can introduce in a QR code. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, you're right. You're right. In these days, it could be included, but maybe a year ago, it wasn't included. Okay. In a business card, I mean, in a presentation thing, right? So let's see. Do you include? your job title in your business card? Job title? 
Yes, it's your profession, it's your occupation, right? It's uh, what you are in the company. So it's part of your ID, part of your own ID or your personal ID in this case, right? Job title. Let's see, uh, social media links. Do we include in social media links in a business card? Yes, uh, LinkedIn. Okay, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if we have like um, a institutional account of uh, maybe Twitter or maybe on Facebook, then we include that, right? We include how they can find our contact in those social media, right? Uh, a tagline. Do we include a tagline? Do we? I'm receiving something from Do you? I'm sorry guys. I was answering a It said what is that line? Oh, tagline. Tagline is like a slogan or tagline is a phrase that you use um, from your company, maybe. Yeah. A slogan, it's more a, a, a good definition. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Do you? Okay, near the company logo, right? Near the company logo, we usually mm -hmm. include that thing. Okay, do you include your mail address? You said yes. Do you include your name? Yes, yes of course. Yes. And also how do they know, um, I mean, how do they call, what do they call us in the company? For example, uh, we're not going to say Mrs. De Rosales, right? If not every everyone in the company knows uh, knows us in with that name, maybe they know us like um, Mrs. Beteta, right? Instead of Mrs. De, right? So yeah, we're gonna use the name as they know you in your company. Right, as they know you in the company. And it's better if you use your full name, yeah, because that's trustable, that's trustable. So let's design our business card. Let's design our business card. In this case, what we're gonna do, okay, I'm going to stop sharing this. Remember what we're going to include, okay? Remember what we're going to include and let's go to design a business card, okay? Vamos a ver, eh, arriba en, el, en la barra de menú aparece que ustedes pueden compartir, ah, perdón, abajo lo tienen en compartir pantalla, ¿ok? Cuando ustedes ponen compartir pantalla, les aparece ahí básico, avanzado, archivos. I don't know if you've got it in English, it says basic, advanced, or something like that, files, and some things like that. But in basic, you go to basic and then you have blackboard or, or in this case, board, board, right? Do you have it like this board? I'm going to share my board, okay? I'm going to share my board and we are going to design um, business card, okay? A business card. A ver, vamos a hacerlo así. Vamos a ver, eh, Carlos Alberto, compártenos usted en su pantalla la, la parte donde dice pizarra. 
Compártanoslo. Ponga share screen abajo. Share screen y luego ahí dice en basic dice board. Board or something like that. Dashboard, I think it says. Whiteboard. Okay, it says whiteboard. Okay. Okay. Share it, please. Okay, ya lo compartí. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please, uh, comencemos a diseñar acá con Carlos, okay, um, su business card, su business card, o una tarjeta de presentación. Veamos entonces, ¿cómo le preguntamos? Vamos a irle preguntando cada, cada información. The first one is, what's your name, right? What's your name? Entonces usted meta un cuadro de texto y escriba su nombre and your job title. Ok. Porque después de what's your name, nosotros preguntamos what do you do? Ok. What's your name and what, you, what do you do? Dos preguntas, ¿verdad? What's your name? Escriba su nombre completo. Write your full name. Could you do it, Carlos? Yes. Okay. Okay, now what do you do? Aquí lo estamos diseñando con Carlos. Ahora, los que puedan... Diseñarlo ahorita en PowerPoint o si tienen alguna presentación para diseñar su tarjeta, comencemos en este momento. We start with what's your name, then you write your name. What's your job title? In that case is what do you do, right? What do you do? Ahora, si yo le pregunto, where do you work? Where do you work? What information is that? Where do you work? Búsquele una esquinita, ¿verdad? En una esquinita va a poner el nombre de su compañía. Estamos diseñándola, ¿verdad? We are designing. Okay, nice. So where do you work? Now, next question. Next question. Yes. What is your work phone number? What is your work phone number? Okay. Nice. Okay. ¿Qué otra pregunta le podemos hacer, chicos? Veamos. Eh, address, email. Okay. What's your email what's, address? Uh, what's, okay. Okay. What is your email address? Okay, good. Cell phone number or number cell phone. Okay. It's not a problem. You can't just invent, make it up. Okay. Si no quiere compartir ahí, porque no le vamos a pedir el número del DUI, vea. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Okay. Pero, hmm. Okay. What else do you include, guys? Uh, asking questions. So what other question can you ask, what, Carlos? What is the social media? Okay, yes, good, good. Social links, social media links, uh-huh. No tenemos. <laughs> okay, okay. So you can say, okay, uh, for example, over there in the cell phone, you could write WhatsApp, right? WhatsApp, okay. that's the first one, right? That's the first one. Uh-huh. Yeah, WhatsApp. Or if you have an institutional thing on Twitter, then you write, write that over there. What else can we ask? What else can we ask? The availability, right? What time are you available, right? Or what are your business hours? What are your business hours? Hey, mira, ¿y cómo a qué horas te puedo contactar, verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo decimos eso? What are your business hours? Or what time is it okay I call you, right? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do we add? What else do we add? Muchas de estas cosas pueden estar incluidas, muchas no, ¿verdad? A veces solo presentamos el job title y un contacto, right? Como así de rápido, dependiendo de el tipo de negocio que tengamos en nuestra compañía, ¿verdad? La próxima podría ser, where is your company located, right? Where is your company located? In that case, we could ask, what's your company's address? What is your company address? Okay, great. Great. Bien. Ahora, thank you very much, Carlos. Manténgamelo ahí. Manténgamelo ahí. Vamos a ver. Eh, si esto no le... Uh, ahorita tiene que ponerle guardar porque si no, se, al salirnos, se borra. ¿verdad? Entonces, o le da una screenshot. O le da una screenshot, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Listo. Ok, va. Ahorita, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Voy a decir nombres y empezamos. Yo voy a señalar... Una, una información, ¿verdad? Y usted va a decir la pregunta, ¿ok? The question, ¿cómo preguntamos eso para obtener esa información? Entonces, me voy aquí arriba, estoy señalando the name, ¿ok? What is the first question, Giovanni Alexander? ¿Cómo obtiene el nombre? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Pineda. Ok, it's ok. Giovanni Pineda, yes, please. What's your name? Excellent. Now, next piece of information. Let's see Daniel Enrique. Uh, what? Uh, uh -huh. What did you work? Uh, okay, let's hear. Uh huh. Let's hear some other opinions and what is the correct questions, guys? What, what is the correct question? Know. What is company yeah. address? Uh, I am pointing here, logistic and exporter. Yes. What do you do? Excellent. That's the correct question. What do you do? Then they are going to, you are going to answer with your, your job title or the position in the company, right? Your occupation or your profession. Then here it says logistics and exporter. Uh, okay, next piece of information. Wendy, how do we request for this information? What's your number, what's your telephone numbers? Okay, good. 
good. Ahí podemos nosotros preguntar, what is your contact number? Or podríamos preguntar, what is your work phone number? Okay, what is your work phone number? Okay, porque en, en una business card usualmente no va nuestro teléfono personal, ¿verdad? Va nuestro contacto de la compañía. So we ask, what's your work phone number? Or what is uh, your contact number? If you have an extension, this is the uh, place where you have to add the extension number, okay, to dial directly. Now, how do we request for this piece of information? Let's see, Astrid. I am pointing the email address. What is your email? Okay, what, what is your email address? Okay, what is your email address? Okay, next one, let's see. Next piece of information, Ana Cristina. What's your contact uh, word WhatsApp? Oh, excellent. oh excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, or WhatsApp number, right? But even when we say WhatsApp, we understand that it is a number, right? So it's okay to say just the WhatsApp thing, but WhatsApp or WhatsApp number is okay. So next piece of information, let's see. Um, Giovanni Ramirez. Mm. Your or of attention. Oh. Okay, yeah, but uh, we are talking about time, right? So we use what word? What WH word do we use when we ask what, about time? What do you, what you, what you or of attention? Okay, that's in the same meaning, but it's a very literal, right? It's a very literal. La, la traducción que hace Giovanni ahorita es bastante literal, ¿verdad? Pero existe una frase que acabamos de decir. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Business hours. Business hours. Entonces, ¿cómo preguntamos eso? What are your business hours? What are your business hours? ¿Qué significa también, como dice Giovanni? The attention hours, como él lo, lo dice en una forma literal. Pero la forma eh, exacta es business hours. O como horas en que hábiles, ¿verdad? Ok, next piece of information, Linda. What is your company? Oh. Oh. What is the name of the company? Ok, that's literal. Pero si usted se lo va a preguntar a alguien, normalmente... Preguntamos, where do you work? Where do you work? Y estamos preguntando el nombre de la compañía, incluso la localidad, ¿verdad? O, o dónde se ubica, la ubicación. Where do you work? Okay. Where do you work? I work at Labels as a of CV. Okay, estamos diciéndolo así, ¿verdad? Now, lo urdes la libertad. ¿Cómo preguntaríamos esto? Someone? Anyone? What is your company address? Excellent, Wendy. Yes, that's correct. What's your company's address? Okay. Podríamos preguntar también con where. Okay. Where is it located? Where is it located? Exactamente como una... Where is it located? Yes, where is it located? Como una pregunta de, eh, de continuidad, ¿verdad? Ya le pregunté, where do you work? Where is it located? ¿Verdad? Juntas. Las dos preguntas. Me contesta, labels es SADCB. Where is it located? Uh, it's at Lourdes. Eh? It's in Lourdes. Get it? Okay, 
¿Quién diseñó su tarjeta? En lo que estaba diseñando Carlos, la de... ¿Alguien diseñó su tarjeta? No. No? Ok. Permítanme que estoy tratando de ubicar mejor esta cámara. Yes, esta cámara. Ok, vamos okay, a ver. Vamos Stop, a ver. Sharing, Stop sharing, Carlos sharing. Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Ahora, Now, Cristina, please share your screen. Share your screen, please. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. What information do we have there? Thank you, Ana Cristina. So what is the company name in this case? Where does Ana Cristina work? Where does Ana Cristina work? She works in BLP. She works at? at B -L -P. Okay. BLP. Thank you very much. So now let's see. Um, what does she do? What does she do? She is a content. Ok, great, great. O podríamos decir, ¿verdad? Que ella, she works in accounting. Ok, she works in accounting. Y está bien decir, she's an accountant. Ok, que sería las dos maneras de contestar eso. Now, let's see. Uh, what's her uh, contact phone number? What's her contact phone number? It's 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 five zero three twenty five zero five ninety five zero zero. Thank you. We can also in the phone numbers use instead of zero, we can say oh. Okay, we could say 503-25 or 2505-9500 or 00, okay? So 503-2505-9500. Ahí podemos, o sea, yo lo combiné, ¿por qué? Porque normalmente en el final del número de teléfono como a manera de closure, como a manera de cierre, está bien decir zero, zero, ¿verdad? Puedo decir oh, oh también y no hay problema. Puedo decir oh, oh. Es su decisión, ¿verdad? Como lo vaya a decir, pero en general, oh, oh is correct. Now, what is her email address? What is her email address? Everybody? is archavarria at vlplegal.com. Thank you very much. How do you spell, uh, how do you spell the username? How do you spell the username? Okay, how do you spell this? Everybody. A. How do you spell it? Como lo deletrea. A veces hay direcciones de email que uno dice, ay, ¿cómo será? ¿Será con B, con V, con, con qué? ¿Verdad? Entonces preguntamos, how do you spell that? 
how do you spell that? Okay. Aquí solo estamos recordando, ¿verdad? Solo estamos recordando preguntas de los módulos anteriores, pero en, en resumen sería las preguntas de información en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Ok, people. Here we are. Thank you very much, Ana, and stop sharing. Thank you. Thank you. So now we are going to uh, the uh, to see the objective for today's class. Let me go there. The objective for today is that you are going to be able to make polite requests at the workplace by using modal verbs. What modal verbs? Could and would, okay? Could and would. So you will be able to make polite requests. Polite requests. Remember that's the main topic, okay? En nuestro manual, en la página 29, en page 29, we have something, some uh, questions. Let me continue sharing here. And let's see. In our manuals, we have these two questions to start. Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Do you? Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? ¿Ustedes le, le ayudan a sus compañeros con las tareas de ellos? ¿Cómo se llama eso? Yes, yes, yes I, do. I do. Okay, what do we call that? Colla collaboration, right. right? Service to others, collaboration, teamwork. Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Yes, I do. Okay, that's the correct answer for this question. Yes, I do. Ahora les voy a hacer una pregunta seguida de esto. What tasks, okay, what tasks do you help your coworkers to do? ¿Qué tareas? ¿Cómo qué cosas? Uh-huh. Make reports. reports. Okay, again, read, write, rep, write reports. Make reports. Okay. Like composing them. Okay, okay, I'm going to use this. To make reports, what other tasks? What other tasks? Answer the phone. Thank you. What else? Mm -hmm. Send the email. Okay, sending emails. 
going to see what happened here. Did I do this? Yes. Okay, sending emails. Okay, now let's see the next question. Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? With your tasks? Do you ask for help? Do you? Ustedes sí le piden ayuda a sus compañeros. Do you ask for help to your coworkers? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So the answer here is yes, I do. Okay. Excellent. If we say yes, we ask for help. ¿Cómo sería como la manera más adecuada de pedir esa ayuda? ¿Verdad? Eso es lo que vamos a tratar en este día. La manera más adecuada de pedir esa ayuda. ¿Ok? Y a eso se le llama to request politely. ¿Verdad? Polite. Good manners. Parecer amable, ¿verdad? No vamos a ser mandones. ¿Ok? No vamos a ser uh, como rudos. ¿Verdad? O como nos dicen aquí, bueno, es un término que nosotros lo usamos despectivo, ¿verdad? Aunque es un buen término porque dice, ay, este tan indio pidiéndome las, las eh, tareas que hacer, o dándome órdenes, ¿ves? ¿qué se cree? ¿verdad? Entonces, eso sucede cuando no podemos expresarnos, ¿ok? De una manera amable, adecuada al solicitar. No vamos a llegar con un imperativo. ¿Se recuerdan de los imperativos? For example, hey you, answer the phone. And we didn't say the magic words. Please, at least. Okay, please, at least, please. What do you think if I say, okay guys, you have to do your homework and you have to do it now. Okay, my boss can do that. Mi jefe podría hacer eso, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿qué generaría en mí? Mm, ok. Ah, vaya, pues. Ni tiempo tengo tantas cosas que tengo que hacer. Ok, genera descontento, ¿verdad? Genera descontento. Entonces, vamos a aprender esas palabras así más, más suaves. What phrases did we say they were? ¿Qué palabras dijimos que eran? Verbos modales, ok. Modal verbs. In this case, they are auxiliaries that help us to speak in a polite manner, to request in a polite manner. So let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, manuals we have some examples, ok. Some examples. And they are really interesting. Y veamos cómo se usan. Okay. Veamos cómo se usan. Let's look at these examples. How do we use those uh, modal phrases or more with modal verbs? Okay. For example, it says, practice this short conversations with a partner. Let's see, we have over there two girls and they are, one is asking for something and the other is answering or reacting, reacting to that request. So it says, could you please, uh, I'm sorry, could you print out the budget file? Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Right away, Rita. Okay. ¿Cuál es la tarea ahí? ¿Qué le están pidiendo? What is the task? ¿Cuál es la tarea? 
Imprimir el presupuesto. Ok, to print out the budget. Ok, to print out the budget file. Good. Sorry. Let's go down just a little. Okay, and what is the reaction? What is the reaction? Is it a positive reaction or is it a negative reaction? Positive. Positive, positive. positive right? Positive. positive. Uh, she says, right away, Rita. Right away, Rita. Right away, Rita. Ese nombre para nosotros es Rita, ¿verdad? But in English, we pronounce that like Rita, Rita. So let's say it in Spanish because I love how it sounds, Rita, right? And it says, could you print out the budget file? Right away, I'm sorry, right away, Rita, right? Right away, Rita. Ahora, veamos la otra manera de solicitarlo. Utilizando de solicitar que alguien haga un favor o que alguien me ayude a hacer algo. Y tengo ahí una frase. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Okay. Would you mind opening the window? Would you mind opening the window? Would you mind opening the window? And let's see the reaction. Sure, no problem. What do we see here? What do we see here? A good reaction, okay? A very good reaction, a positive reaction to a request set in a polite manner. Okay, let's go down there. And let's practice this short conversation uh, or, or conversations. Let's hear Juan Carlos and Karina, please. Number one. Um, could, could you print out the bucket field? Right what? away, Rita. Thank you. Okay, everybody. La pronunciación es budget file. Budget, budget file. 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 Excellent. So budget file. Budget file. El archivo del presupuesto. Budget file. Okay. Cuando pronunciamos la palabra could, no pronunciamos esta letra L, ¿ok? Solo decimos could you. Could you print out the budget file? Could you. Could you. Could you. No vamos a decir could, ¿ok? Porque entonces es otra cosa. ¿Ok? Could es otra cosa. Could. Could. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver, Giovanni, please, with Wendy, the first conversation. La primera conversación, Giovanni and Wendy. Could you bring out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Okay. Ahora vamos a cambiar y vamos a sustituir el nombre. Vamos a poner nuestro nombre cuando contestamos, okay? Raquel and Alejandra, please, the first conversation. Could you bring, bring all the budget file? Right, wait, Rita. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now let's see, Annie and, Annie and Kevin Antonio, please, the first conversation. Um, could you print all the 
but it's fine. Sure. Sure, no problem. Okay, nice. You combine the answers, Annie. Very good. Now let's see Astrid and Carlos Eduardo, please. The first conversation. Could you print out the budget fail? By the way, uh, Rita, uh, Astrid. Ok, ajá, vamos a sustituir nuestros nombres, ¿verdad? Entonces, Astrid is good. Thank you very much, Carlos. Now, let's see. Uh, veamos la siguiente conversación. Carla and Kevin Daniel, please. Would you mind opening the window? Will you mind opening the window, Kevin? Kevin Daniel? Okay. Sure, no problem. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So this is how we can ask or request, ask for help or request politely. Okay, do a polite request. So let's think about five requests that you need to ask in your workplaces. Let's start. Allá dijimos algunas, vamos a hacer cinco acá. Cinco tareas o cinco cosas que nosotros le pedimos a otro que, que nos ayude. Eso se llama request, okay? Think of five requests you need to ask in your workplace, okay? Vamos a empezar. Silvio, please. Could you send the email? Okay, good. Could, could you send the email? Y aquí le ponemos, okay, could you send the email? ¿Cuál sería la palabra mágica acá que nos falta? Please. Please, correct, please. But please, in this case, it could be at the end of the question, okay? Or we can use it after the subject, okay? Can you please, okay? Or could you please send the email? Could you please send the email? Thank you. Now, another request, Nancy. Yeah. Could you help me? Help me? Okay. Uh, make copies, please. Ah, good. Okay. Could you help me? Help me? To uh, get to this. Make, uh, uh huh. Uh, photocopies, right? Uh huh. Okay. Photocopies. Please. Okay. Okay. La frase que estaba diciendo Nancy es muy buena también. Es make copies. Okay. Could you help help me to make copies of this, right? Or something like that. And yes, it is okay too. Another, mm. okay. Another, Juan Carlos, please. Could you, uh, could you please write the reports? Thank you. 
Could you please write the report? Yes. Okay. It's correct. Next. Daniel? Daniel Enrique? Yes, teacher. Okay. I need you to give it to give me an example of a request that you can ask to your coworker. De lo que está en la en el cuadrito rojo. Eh, no, aquí estamos haciendo la lista de las eh, peticiones o está pidiendo favor, ¿verdad? De que le ayuden con alguna cosa. No necesariamente ayudar, hacer algo por usted. Okay. Could you please answer the telephone? Okay. Answer the, you say telephone. Okay. Thank you. And the last one. Ana Delmi. And then me, can you give us an example? I don't see another me now. Annie? Could you please um, uh, uh, clean, clean, uh, uh, glasses? Okay, good. <laughs> clean the glasses. Please, ah, sí, le pusimos. Okay. <laughs> clean the glasses. Your glasses? Or your glasses or glasses? Vasos. Ah, okay, there you are, the glasses, okay. Or the cup glasses, okay, good, good. Aquí si se fijan, todos agarramos más el could, ¿verdad? Todos agarramos más el could. Vamos a aprender cómo usar would you mind, okay? Fijémonos acá, okay, en las que ustedes me dieron de, de ejemplo, en the examples, we use please as uh, the a polite word, okay, to request something that usamos could, then the subject, y luego utilizamos el verbo en su forma base, ¿verdad? en su forma base, y luego el complemento. Y si se fijan, esto es preguntas, okay? Preguntas. ¿Por qué? A request usually is a question. Usually it, it is a question. Ok. They are requests. Ahora, veamos acá en este cuadrito que tenemos a la par que esta palabra request, this word, have different meanings. The first meaning is that you can use request as a verb. Ok. You can use request as a verb when you refer to the action, when you refer to the action. But you can also use it as a noun, okay? Use it as a noun, as one thing. For example, something that you are asking for. And let's see the two examples. When is it a verb, we use request a new phone, please. Request a new phone, please. 
es un verbo, ¿verdad? Estamos que, eh, solicitando que alguien, ajá, request, requise, ¿verdad? No, requise no. Eh, este no es requisar, porque okay? Este es como la requisición, que es diferente, ¿ok? Esta es otra solicitud, sería como lo más cercano, ¿ok? Request a new phone, please. Request es un verbo, it's a verb. Use, request as a noun, and let's see the example. My boss usually has many requests. We can use it as a plural or as a singular thing for me. In this case, we are using request as a noun, but a plural noun. And it says, my boss usually has many requests for me. Vamos entonces, les voy a mostrar acá unos ejercicios. Veamos entonces la diferencia e identifiquemos cuando se refiere a un verbo esta palabra y cuando se refiere a un nombre. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to share a slide with a little exercise, okay? With a little exercise. Antes del ejercicio, déjenme por favor tomar yes. la asistencia. Take the attendance. And for this exercise, I'm going to take the attendance. Alejandra, Vanessa, bueno, se me movió. Let's move it. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Uh, Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Zuria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez, Nancy Iveto Barrivera, Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba, Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz, Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez, Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales, Present teacher. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Okay. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay, guys. So let me share the screen with the little exercise, with a, sh a short exercise. Usually when we refer to a verb, it can be conjugated in different forms, okay? So let's see in these sentences, what is the correct meaning to, or the correct form of this word, the correct use of this word? So we have here, down here, the answers for each the answers for each sentence. What do we have to do? Fill in the blanks. Let's fill in the blanks with these options. This is the word bank that we are going to use. For example, number one. Number one. To request. 
Okay, let's see. Number two. The request. Okay, let's put it over there. Mm -hmm. Next, number three. A request. Okay, next. Dating the question. And number four. Okay, you say didn't, okay. This is, uh, we're, we don't know if it is correct or not right now, okay. Request. Then requested, okay, requested. Now. What do you think? Read these sentences, these statements, and tell me if the options that we um, placed there are correct. Are they correct? What do you think? Let's read number one. Let's read number one. It is time to request more direct help from quality control department. Is it okay or is it wrong? Everybody? Okay. Okay. Me, okay. Okay. Okay, let's say this is okay. It is correct. Number two, you need to submit the request form. Is, is it correct or is it wrong? What do you think? It's correct. Okay, it is correct. Number three, the employees addressed a request to the Ministry of Labor. Is it correct or is it incorrect? What do you think? Hey, people. It's correct. Okay, thank you very much. It is correct. Number four. Number four. What do you think? It is incorrect. It's incorrect. Is it incorrect or is it correct? Bien, aquí viene la situación. Fíjense que ahí sí se puede poner el negativo, ¿ok? Ahí en esa sí podríamos poner el negativo, pero como solo hay una respuesta para cada una, ¿verdad? Entonces, no cabe ahí esa porque esa le correspondería a la siguiente que tiene una palabra que nos da la idea con el negativo. Any. Any. Correct. Then we are going to exchange this. And we are going to place this one here. This for this. Here we are. Now they are correct. Now they are correct. Now, please tell me in number one, is it a verb or is it a noun? Action or noun? Number one. A verb. A verb, y aquí lo hemos puesto en infinitivo, ¿verdad? Infin infinitive form, lleva el to. You need to submit the, que es indefinido, ¿verdad? Uh, perdón, que es definido, the request, la, ¿ok? Es definido el artículo ahí. Entonces, sí, ¿verdad? Es un nombre, es la cosa, es what. So, number three. The employees addressed a request to the Ministry of Labor. Is it a noun or is it a verb? Is it a noun or is it a verb? No. No. Noun. Correct. And we use a 
quiere decir que cualquier eh, eh, uh, solicitud, ¿verdad? En este caso, cualquier eh, sí, solicitud. Eh, el asunto aquí es que a no sabemos qué tipo de solicitud le han hecho al ministerio. Si dijera the request, nos refiriéramos a una en específico, pero dice a es any, ¿verdad? Ahora, they requested, they requested transparent and justifiable staggered wages, wages. Is it a verb or is it a noun? Verb. Verb. Okay, and what Pass. is the tense? Uh-huh. Pass. Excellent. It's the simple past tense. Number five. I'm afraid, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm afraid your department didn't request any information. Is it a verb or is it a noun? Noun. A uh, noun? Verb. Ok, it's a verb. Es una acción en este caso, pero la estamos diciendo de manera negativa, que no se solicitó. Didn't request any information. And it is in the past simple tense. Past simple tense. So let's read it. It is time to request more direct help from quality control department. Every, everybody, please active. Uh, open your mics. Open your mics. And y digámosla after me. It is time to request, everybody. It is time to request more direct help from quality control department. Ahora la vamos a decir un poquito más rápido, a little faster. It is time to request. It is time to request. More direct help. More direct help. From quality control department. From quality control department. A ver, Carla, please read number one. It is time to request more direct help from quality control department. Thank you very much. Number two, please repeat after me. Everybody open your mics. You need to, to submit the request form. You need to submit the request form. Submit the request form. Okay, Giovanni Ramirez, please read number two. You need to submit the request form. Okay, thank you very much. Number three, please repeat after me. The employees addressed a request to the Ministry of Labor. The employees addressed a to the Ministry of Labor. Ana del Carmen, please read number three. The employees addressing a request to the Ministry of, of Labor. Okay, number four, please repeat after me. They requested transparent and justifiable viable staggered wages. They, they requested Okay, repitamos esta parte en que yo no la dije muy clara. Transparent And, and, and justifiable. 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 Staggered. Staggered. Wages. 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 No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, come on. <laughs> wages, okay. Wages. Uh -huh. Eso significa salario, remuneración. It's another word for salary, 
Okay. Repeat, salary. teacher. Repeat, teacher. Wages. 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 Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. yes, it's very important. <laughs> Wages. 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 Yeah, it's Wages. a very important word. Wages. And number five. I'm afraid your department. I'm afraid your department. I am afraid, afraid your department, department, department didn't request any information. Didn't request any information. Okay, Anadelmi, please read number five. Anadelmi, are you there? I heard that you were repeating. Ya no la miro. Okay, Nancy, please read number five. Um, I am afraid your department didn't request any information. Thank you very much, Nancy. Thank you. So now let's go and see some things related to how to ask or how to uh, do these polite requests, how to ask for these polite requests. So, veamos las dos frases que estamos viendo. Could you please make a phone call to the three potential clients today? Could you please make a phone call to the three potential clients today? Veamos que va, voy a utilizar prácticamente la misma idea para que vean ustedes el uso de estas dos frases, ¿ok? Porque viene la otra y dice, would you mind calling the three potential clients today? What do you see different between them? ¿Qué miran diferente? Entre ellas, entre las dos preguntas. Saber. Direct. What do you see different between those two questions? Who is more direct? Okay. The second sentence is more direct. The second sentence is more direct? Yes. Uh, for me, for first. me, wall is a favor. It's a In verbo. Please, please. Okay, bye. Veamos esta situación. Could es un verbo modal en don, que nosotros utilizamos para pedir eh, casi a todo mundo, ¿verdad? Eh, un favor, un, que nos ayuden con algo o que nos presten algo, cualquier cosa. Y normalmente entre nuestros compañeros de trabajo, between uh, the, or in the, I mean, in your workplaces, there are things that you do every day and you don't feel that that's a favor for sure. O sea, ustedes no están diciendo que realmente eso sea un favor lo que están pidiendo, ¿verdad? Sino que están solicitando uh, que lo haga y porque siempre lo va a hacer, ¿verdad? Pero se lo estoy pidiendo de una manera uh, muy polite. Y le estoy dando la opción incluso de decir si puede o no puede, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad, en la primera estoy diciendo, Could you please make a phone call to the three potential clients today? Le estoy diciendo, ve y hazlo, ¿ok? Go to do that. Ahora, would you mind 
would you mind, lo utilizamos de una manera en un nivel más arriba de amabilidad, ¿ok? En a highest level of kindness or of, of politeness. For example, I can give the, uh, using that, uh, op, I mean, that phrase, I am including an answer that the person can choose, okay? La persona podría escoger entre hacerlo o no hacerlo, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, en nuestro ambiente de trabajo, esto se oye muy respetuoso, ¿ok? Muy respetuoso. Por ejemplo, si llegara eh, Giovanni Ramírez y me dice, Miss, would you mind repeating the explanation, please? ¿Ok? Would you mind? Entonces, yo pues obviamente no le voy a decir que no, porque me lo está diciendo muy caballerosamente, ¿ok? Uh, así que ahora en adelante, así, de ahora en adelante, todos vamos a ser muy polite con nuestros classmates and with our associates or our colleagues in our workplaces. Desde ahora vamos a empezar a utilizar estas dos frases. Could you please? And would you mind? Ahora, si se fijan la estructura, ¿ok? La estructura de esta primera utiliza el verbo en su forma base. Miren, make. Pero no se usa to, ni se usa for, ni se usa cualquier otra preposición antes del verbo, ¿verdad? Es una forma base. Aquí no le puedo decir, could you please to make a phone call? Mm -mm. Could you please make a phone call to the three potential clients today? Ok. Ahora, veamos la estructura. Después de la palabra mind, mind, que en realidad ahí la estamos usando como que si importar, ¿verdad? Le importaría, ¿verdad? Right? Importar, si, si le molesta o no le molesta, mind, ¿verdad? Después de esa palabra mind, after that word mind, we use an ing verb form. ing verb form. Siempre que utilicemos would you mind, Always that we use, would you mind to ask for a favor or to request something to others? We are going to use an ING verb form after would you mind, okay? Now let's see another example. Let's look at this example. Mm -hmm. So the number one, or in this column, okay, we have, could you please arrange for a meeting with the floor managers? Could you please arrange for a meeting with the floor managers? Veamos esta misma pregunta, pero de una manera más polite, more polite way. It says, would you mind arranging for a meeting with the floor managers? Would you mind arranging for a meeting with the floor managers? Okay, if you see, we use arrange here and arranging here. Would you mind arranging? Could you please arrange for a meeting with the floor managers? Okay, now let's look at the, the last example. Okay, aquí ya no estoy usando I. Oh, no estoy usando you, perdón. No estoy usando you. This is another subject. A different pronoun, third person. Y si se fijan, con la tercera persona se mantiene igual. No cambia. No le agregamos S. No cambia. Okay. 
Then it says, could she send the invitations first thing in the morning? Por ejemplo, yo le estoy diciendo al jefe de ella, ¿verdad? Could she send the invitations first thing in the morning? Okay. O yo le digo a su compañero, ¿verdad? Could she send the invitations first thing in the morning? Ahora. Aquí ya el significado no es exactamente el mismo, ¿ok? No es exactamente el mismo. Aquí estamos diciendo, ¿le importaría a ella hacerlo? ¿Le molestaría a ella hacerlo? Aunque al mismo tiempo sabemos que puede ser parte de sus responsabilidades hacer eso, pero tal vez no a primera hora de la mañana, ¿verdad? Entonces, Would she mind sending the invitations first thing in the morning? Would she mind? Would she mind sending the invitations first thing in the morning? Okay. Are we okay with this or do you have any question about this vocabulary we saw in the examples? Could you please nod your head saying yes, teacher, or no, teacher? Consulta. Cuando okay. para utilizar el call you, please, eh, podríamos utilizar primero el nombre de una persona para referirnos específico a ello. Por ejemplo, Silvio, call you, please, make a phone call to, to be a potential client today? Yes, sure. Of course, you can use the name referring to the person. Imagine they are in a group. So for example, I refer exactly to one of them, then yes, I can say the name first. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Another question? Questions? Teacher. Um... Yes when you use can is not polite. Es más directa. Es más directa y um, sí es una forma polite también, pero es menos polite que could. O sea, en niveles podríamos decir can está hasta abajo, ¿ok? Está hasta abajo después del imperativo, después de dar la orden. Can, then could, and then would, okay? That's the level, como para ubicarnos en los niveles, ¿verdad? De, okay. De amabilidad. Can, yo no lo usaría con mi jefe. Con mi jefe yo utilizaría would o utilizaría could, okay? Para referirme a alguien arriba de mí, Entonces yo diría could or would. Si hoy me voy a referir to my colleague or to my husband, for example, then I say can. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, because we are doing the same thing over and over. So can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do that, please? So can you tell me this? Can you send that? Can It's more whatever. common. Uh, yes, common and also the relation is closer. The relation with the person is closer, so they don't mind that you use that language, okay? Teacher, mm -hmm. en español se le va a preguntar, eh, pero eso depende del, como de la, del país, porque, bueno, en mi caso sí tengo relaciones con muchos países, Y por ejemplo, los españoles son piedras. Nosotros que dicen que le ponemos muchas flores al, al, yes. a, la hora de, a la hora de hablar, ¿verdad? O sea, los chilenos o sea, dicen muchas flores le ponen a las cosas. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, el uso del inglés también sería como el mismo. Depende de cómo... De, mm, del... Sí, o depende del ambiente o del sistema que ustedes tengan dentro de su compañía. El tipo de relación que ustedes tengan, ¿verdad? Porque sí, hay, hay, okay, different kind of bosses. Uh, hay muchas clases de jefes. And there are a lot of 
characters and a lot of personalities. So yes, but if we want to be in in the middle of everything, right? Como decir, estamos como a, a tono y estamos correctos, podemos utilizar este lenguaje perfectamente y no afecta en nada y no es echarle flores. Ok. <laughs> ok, pero would, sometimes it sounds like that. Cuando utilizamos would, muchas veces suena como que le está echando flores y dando vueltas para llegar, ¿verdad? Al favor, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Okay, now, vamos al manual. Let's go to our manuals. Okay, quiero hacer nada más una última prueba aquí. Miren el manual. ¿O qué están viendo en su pantalla en este momento? No, manual. Su no, no, no. momento estaba cortado. Ok, muy bien. Entonces no, no tengo que salir. Es que a veces me he tenido que salir para poder pasar al siguiente cuadro. Y... Okay. Qué bueno, qué bueno que ven el manual de una vez. Oh, my God, it froze. Oh, my God, it got frozen. Ya vieron que se quedó congelado. No se mira. It's thinking. Yeah, it's loading. Quizás porque hice eso de pasarme directo. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Maybe I see the Hale. Quiero ver. Tal vez sea ese el problema. Quiero ver aquí. No, sigue congelado. Ok, sigue congelado. Vamos a irnos entonces al último ejercicio que tenemos. Oops, oops, oops. What happened? Oh, what is this? Let's accept it. Oh, my God. Este ha sido un día desde el principio, ¿verdad? Con la cámara y, oh, my God, oh, my God. I'm so sorry, guys. Pero eso es para que vean que de verdad estamos en vivo, que este no es un, algo grabado, ya ven, ¿verdad? Bye. Cosas pasan en vivo. We are live. Ok. Como aquel está todavía pidiéndome abrir eso. Entonces vamos a ir a un ejercicio. Esperemos que sí se pueda compartir. Vamos a leer la instrucción y ustedes se van a ir al a las salas de reunión con su grupo. We are going to split the group. Y van a completar estas ocho um, statements, estas ocho oraciones o sí, statements. Okay, this is a grammar worksheet. What is the instruction? The instruction says, write, could you add the word please or would you mind? Okay, donde corresponda. Ustedes van a poner, could you, le van a agregar please, donde ustedes crean que suena más bonito, si en medio o al final. Y luego, would you mind? Would you mind? Ok. Y cuando regresemos de los grupos, ah, le voy a tomar foto y se las mando. Cuando regresemos de los grupos, vamos a aprender a contestar. Ok. Stop sharing. Then I'm going to open the groups. Ok, lo vamos a hacer en grupos grandes para que todos interactúen, ok, para que todos, 
que se oiga, que se oiga que están trabajando. Giovanni, are you there? Giovanni, Alexander, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, didn't you receive the invitation? No, teacher. To join the group? Let me see where you are, Giovanni. Yes. Hello. Okay, I'm sending you over there. Is it okay? Hello, Daniel, where were you? Hello, teacher. I, said, I have a problem with internet. Okay, let me see. ¿En qué sala estaba, Daniel? Eh, no, antes, antes de iniciar a la sala, este, se me cayó el internet. Ah, va. Okay, there you are. Que que lo... que el ING del verbo. Sí, que yo solo entendí que era la estructura. Would you might va con ING y cool va con el verbo normal. No. Después las leemos si quieren. Oh, el cuatro, oh, viene, la cuatro. viene la teacher, cuando venga la teacher la podemos no. preguntar. I, I am about to start. Here I am. Teacher. I am here. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Um, My question, teacher. Okay, tell me. Okay, and I and ing is with would you mind? Is a a rule. Okay. When we use could you, we use the verb in the base form. And when we use would you mind after the word mind, the verb is ing verb form. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, it's okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Call you, please. The, the... Okay. Number four. Call you. Number four. Could you please? Call, could about, you please? I'm about starting a meeting. Call right me now. in 20. Call you, please. <laughs> Call me in 20. Yeah, I'll call you, you, please. The five is wood. Would, would, would you mind read, reading? Mm -hmm. The six. Six is could you uh, speak louder? See, could you please? Would you speak louder? Yes. No. Uh, seven. Speak. Carla? Hello. Carla, Carla. Yes, teacher. What happened with the um with the room? ¿Qué pasó con la sala? Usted estaba en la sala 3. ¿Qué le pasó? Se, le, se desconectó. Sí, me salí, pero ya habíamos terminado. Es que el internet me estaba fallando. Oh, pero ya okay. habíamos terminado en el grupo. Okay. Ya habíamos contestado. Ok, thank you. Ok. Ya no están hablando, chicos. No, está bien. Okay. No. Todavía no. Oh, no, la teacher va a ingresar. Yes, hello. How are you hello, doing? Teacher. Um, hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. I'm still fighting, I'm still with, fighting my with my webcam. <laughs> Something's <laughs> happening with my <laughs> webcam. Vamos, <laughs> rat, teacher. <laughs> But how are you doing with the exercise? Uh, finish. 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 Okay. Okay then. Okay then. Let's go back to the main room. We can hear you. Hello, teacher. Ah, no, no, está hablando con nosotros. Yes, I was trying to, I was, ya les di toda la clase y no había encendido el micrófono. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
<risa> es que fíjense que les voy a contar así rapidito. Esta cámara yo la coloco cabal al frente, pero hoy por alguna razón no está agarrando la misma posición. Ya la había probado tres veces y todo chévere. Nomás me senté para empezar la clase y empezó a llorar la cámara. Ok, so this is the situation. And also, uh, dijimos que we said before going to the, to the rooms that we need to know how to answer or how to request, I'm, I'm sorry, how to react to the request. Cómo reaccionar, porque normalmente no es que sea una respuesta a lo que nos están pidiendo. No, la respuesta va a ser nuestra reacción, ¿ok? Our reaction. So, no contestamos, yes, I could, or no, I couldn't. Mm -mm, we don't say that. Fíjense que en el manual decía, ¿verdad? Uh, right away, ¿ok? Es una frase, right away. Otra frase. Sure, no problem. Pero tenemos también el caso de que cuando nos preguntan, would you mind doing something, something? Would you mind printing out the documents? Y si yo le quiero responder que sí, le tengo que decir no. Ok. Va. Esto es así. Para decir sí, decimos no. ¿Por qué? Because when they are asking for that favor or that action done by me, ellos lo que esperan es una reacción. Would you mind, mind that word? La palabra importante en esta frase es mind. Mind significa si me molestaría, si me importaría. Entonces, si yo le digo que no, ah, entonces lo voy a hacer, ¿ok? No me molesta, ¿verdad? No me importa, está bien, lo voy a hacer. So that's why we say, for example, would you mind, mind uh, opening the windows? Would you mind opening the windows? If it is okay and I'm not cold or maybe I am hot, then I'm going to say, oh, not at all, right? No, go and do it, no. Mm -hmm. No, not at all, okay? No, not at all. And then the other person goes to open the window, right? Or I go to open the windows, okay? Por eso decimos que no es necesariamente que me estén pidiendo hacerlo a mí el favor. Cuando me dicen, would you mind? Would you mind opening the windows? No, not at all. Voy la abro pero probablemente solo me está diciendo, mire, le importa si yo abro las ventanas, right? So, it's kind of tricky, this thing. It's not complicated. This is not complicated. This is for us to know the culture, okay? Aquí entonces vamos y busquemos en la cultura, ¿verdad? I'm going to send a video for you to understand when we are going to use mind, and those uh, answers or reactions that we are asking or expecting from the other person. Okay, now I see that it's almost time. Yes, it is time to finish. Okay, it is, well, we are off the clock. So, entonces quedamos así. For example, if I ask you, Uh, would you mind turning off your cameras? Would you mind turning off your cameras? ¿Cuál puede ser la reacción? Would you mind turning off your cameras? No, not at all. And then you? Stop the video, right? Okay. No, not at all. Okay. Pero si están apagadas, okay, then I'm going to, would you mind uh, turning on your cameras? Not at all. Then I turn on my camera. 
Pero, por ejemplo, alguien está con una gran fiebre y con 40 eh, de temperatura o alguien me dice, eh, oh, mi cámara se averió, ¿ok? Oh, I'm sorry, teacher, but my camera is not working. ¿Ok? Doy una explicación. ¿Ok? Esto es de agreement. Usted accede o no accede. Esas son las reacciones que podemos tener. Accede o no accede. ¿Ok? Si usted está de acuerdo o no está de acuerdo. So tomorrow we are going to practice this. ¿Ok? Mañana vamos a practicar esto un poquito más. Y... Llegamos al final de nuestra clase, ok, hemos cubierto el material que íbamos a cubrir por situación de que se frizó la aplicación donde vemos el manual, no, no vimos el último ejercicio, pero lo podemos realizar mañana. Ok, it's 10.02, so time is over, and uh, the session one-on-one is for Alejandra, did I say no? Let me check. No, for Karina, Karina's turn. Okay. Karina, are you staying? Um, o quiere I donar ese because... tiempo? Yes. <laughs> okay, then we have a availability, guys. Karina está donando su tiempo para que otro pueda resolver sus dudas. ¿Alguien se apunta? Alguien se apunta is like this, right? <laughs> okay, this is language things. <laughs> okay, alguien se anota para esto? Only one, please. Hey, come on. No puedo agradarlos a todos, así que solo uno, uno. <laughs> yeah, teacher, otra vez. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Uh, Carlos, su leima dijo. O Zuleima Carlos dijo. Ok, no problema. Con los acuerdo? dos no sé si es lo mismo que sabemos. No, no se puede. Okay. No okay. se puede así. Uh, permítame un segundo, Zuleima, later, porque no creo problem. que tengo una situación acá. Ok, sí, Zuleima. Perfecto. Aquí la voy a anotar que usted se queda. Ok, everyone, then have a good night. Please have a good rest. Go and rest. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, Suleyma. Uh, comprendí el uso del uh, could you please y el good Would you mind? Would you mind? Pero la, lo último que nos estaba explicando es la respuesta del would you, would you mind. Uh -huh. Ahí me perdí. O sea, que siempre no, no, me, me perdí cuando dijo que tenemos que decir negativamente. Exactamente. No lo comprendí allí. ¿Por Vaya, qué? Eh, porque a usted no le, no le da problema. ¿Ok? Uh, usted ah, sí tiene la voluntad de hacerlo. Entonces, no me da problema. Eso sería la respuesta cuando decimos no, no at all. Y voy y lo hago, ¿verdad? For example, no. if I say, could you please turn, uh, I'm sorry, would you mind turning off your, turning off the lights? Ok, turning off the lights. Then I say, no, not at all. And I turn it, turn light off, right? Ok. Ok. And could o sea, you please? Uh -huh. es, es, decimos negativamente porque ahí estamos diciendo, eh, ¿tiene usted problema en, en imprimirme un archivo? Entonces yo al decirle no, está diciendo no tengo problema en hacerlo. Uh, es así, ¿verdad? Sí, pero eso sería una, una cosa muy, muy, eh, perdón, <risas> una, una translation, una traducción muy literal. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Si no lo traducimos sería mucho mejor. If we don't okay. translate, it will be better. Porque would you mind tiene bastantes acepciones. Incluso en nuestro lenguaje tenemos 40 palabras para decir una, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O significados para una palabra. Entonces, mind en realidad es como que usted no le pone coco, ¿ah? ¿eh? No, le, no le afecta, ¿ok? 
hacer esa, esa cosa. Pero como es una forma muy polite, me están dando la opción de decir sí o no, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad, como son cosas que normalmente hacemos, ¿verdad? Y si somos muy eh, amables y condescendientes, la respuesta obvia es que a usted no le va a importar. Uh -huh. Pero, por ejemplo, en casos, uh, hablemos de someone who smokes, right? Someone who smokes and the other person doesn't smoke. Then, uh, then you, would you mind not, non, uh, I'm sorry, not smoking here, okay? Would you mind not smoking? Okay. Entonces, o oh, would you mind, uh, otra cosa podría ser, porque el cigarro no a todos nos agrada, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. The, so, in those cases, you will find better, acomoda mejor decir, would you mind? Una forma muy polite, no le afecta a la persona que está con la situación, ¿verdad? Del uh -huh. vicio, y, y a mí también me da mucha uh -huh. pena pedir eso, mucha pena pena como alguien desconocido o alguien que está haciendo algo que realmente me molesta o me afecta, ¿verdad? Pero eso lo voy a decir muy mm. polite. Por eso le voy a enviar un video para que vean el uso de mind, okay. ¿verdad? Y ahí van sí. a dilucidar bastantes du uh, dudas, ¿verdad? Que tengan sobre ah, eso. Okay. Ah, pues esa era la que quería comprender porque había dicho okay. usted. Eh, y también lo que vimos al inicio de de los, cuando uno quiere pedir como favores, ¿verdad? Eh, el usar, este, ay, lo que vimos al inicio de, de, entre compañeros. Ajá. La comunicación eh, que ahí utilizamos como eh, lo que vimos usualmente, usually, aster, also, todo eso, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, you said usually. Sometimes, uh, como los uh, adverbios de frecuencia, me dice usted. Ajá, o no, okay. lo entendí mal. No, en esa parte solamente estábamos introduciendo el tema en cuanto a que si ustedes piden favores. Ahora, eh, yo los iba a ubicar en que ustedes me dijeran qué tipos de favores, ¿ok? O qué ah, tipo de tareas. Okay. Hace. Lo importante ahí es the tasks. Tasks. Tareas, tasks. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, no es que va, o sea, ok. Uh -huh. ah, pues But sí, it's sí. important to use the frequency adverbs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, thank you. Okay, okay Sulema, there you are. Thank you for su tiempo. Uh, my pleasure. My pleasure. This <laughs> is what I'm for here. Okay. So, okay, then, is there any other thing that I can help you with? Uh, no, solamente eso era. Okay, thank Sulema. You. My pleasure. So let's let us meet tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye.